From stabbings to zombie brains to mm -hmm. eating internal organs, we're giving you what you want. And Chris Gore continued our excellence in journalism at Fangoria's Weekend <laughs> of Horror Convention. Check it out. Huh. We're here at the Fangoria Weekend of Horrors where all the horror heavies come to trade blood recipes. I'm Chris Gore, and I'll show you some more gore. Fangoria Weekend has been around for over 20 years and is the premier place where indie filmmakers, horror icons, and gore hounds can come together like a backwards deranged cannibal family. It's sort of the, the Woodstock of horror. It's the way we kind of put together the convention. Bring tons of people together. Talk shop, talk horror, talk gaping wounds, you know, whatever. When I was a kid, I loved the Fangoria convention. I mean, we'd like to dream about it all year because it's the only time you could find rare DVDs and posters and meet other horror collectors. But when I was younger, it was like a huge deal. This was the only way to meet, you know, your fellow horror fans. Sure, Fangoria Weekend gives gore geeks the chance to wheel and deal all their freaky gear, stock their creepy collections, and meet their heroes. But the real reason we're all here is to check out the movies in all their guts and gory. I'm here to promote the movie I wrote and directed called Abominable, which is rear window as a creature feature, and it's got a psychotic Bigfoot running around in the woods uh, killing people. I'll be back in the gym. I'm promoting a film that we did called 2001 Maniacs. We had a ball doing it. Okay. <laughs> the storyline is the Southerners from the Civil War who have never been avenged uh, by what had happened to them, have a kind of Brigadoon-esque kind of town um, called Pleasant Valley, which appears once a year, and they lure unsuspecting northern college students to their guts and glory barbecue, and then we eat them. <laughs> now, there's been a huge resurgence in the genre, and Anchor Bay has been right there supporting a lot of independent horror. Why do you think there's so much more interest in horror now? I think it's just because people have just kind of rediscovered the fact that they like to be scared. It's like a roller coaster ride. They like the thrill of it. And it's kind of the, the, the new, the hip thing. There's a whole new audience out there. Now it's kind of horror's turn to come out of the closet. It's not just a couple of core geeks. Everybody loves horror. I mean, the Hostel DVD was out selling Narnia at Walmart. I think audience love being shocked. And it's going to get, I think it's just going to keep getting worse and worse. And because horror is so hot right now, so it's a good place to be and I'm kind of just riding this bloody wave. Well, that's it from Fangoria Weekend. Come on down next year. We'll get bloody together. My favorite horror movie of all time, Fried Green Tomatoes. <laughs> I love that movie. It made me cry. It's brilliant. Check out Fangoria.com for more convention dates or if you need creative tips for human torture. Mm -hmm.